say write that down. X cube minus nine X square plus P X plus 16. And then what they want, they want us to show that P equals six given that X plus one is a factor. If X plus one is a factor, then what they're telling us is that f of one is equal to zero. And if f of one is equal to zero, that implies it does replace x with one to get one cube, which is one, minus nine times one, which is nine, plus p times one, which is p, plus 16, that's equal to zero. And if this is equal to zero, then, 1 minus 9 plus 16, that is 1 minus 9. 1 minus 9. Oh, they say x plus 1 is a factor, so f of minus 1 is 0. My apologies, so this should be minus 1. This should be minus 9. This should be minus p. See, I'm giving it away. And so minus one minus nine is minus 10 plus 16. That works out to be six. And so six minus P is zero. And if six minus P is zero, then P is of course six. So that takes care of part one. Let's see what else I'm saying. Okay, so to factorize F of X completely, to factorize f of x completely, it's best to do polynomial division. So let's go ahead and do our polynomial division. Given that we already know one factor is x plus one, we can divide it by x plus one. All right, so let's do the polynomial division. We're gonna divide it by x plus one. Dividing f of x by x plus one, we know that f of x is x cubed minus 9x squared plus px, where p is 6, so it's really plus 6x plus 16. Nice. So let's do this division now. We're going to say x into x cubed goes x squared. Then x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times one is just plus x squared. And then we're gonna subtract them. Then we subtract. After we subtract now, x cubed minus x cubed that gone, minus nine x squared minus x squared, that becomes minus 10 x squared. plus six X, nice and easy. Then we're gonna say X into minus 10 X squared, that's now minus 10 X. All right, and then X, in, X times minus 10 X, that's minus 10 X squared. Then you have minus 10 X times one, which is minus 10 X. We're going to subtract them. When you subtract them, minus and minus give you plus, so you get 16x, and then you bring down the plus 16. Then x into 16x plus 16, that leaves plus 16. And then 16 times x is 16x. And then 16 times 1 is 16. All right, plus 16, and then you subtract them. Once you go ahead and you subtract them, you get zero, you're nice. So now what we're getting for f of x is, to factorize it, we can clearly see that f of x is working out to be equal to x plus one times x squared minus 10x plus 16. 
So let's write down this quadratic factor of x squared minus 10x plus 16. And then you can factorize that quadratic expression there, all right? And so finally, when we completely factorize f of x, we can see that f of x is x plus one multiplied by, this look like signs are the same, both of them negative. So it looks like x minus two times x minus eight. That's how we factorize it. Nice and easy, soft. Okay, so we've completely factorized f of x. So this is part two. Part three, part three says hence solve f of x equals zero. Solving f of x equals zero, that means you're gonna be solving for the roots. And it says hence, that means you should just use the, 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 use the factors that you have. So solving f of x equals zero is very simple. You're just gonna get, I'm just gonna write down the solution. Solving this equals zero. So this is how we're solving. We're solving x plus one times x minus two times x minus eight is equal to zero. This is what we're solving. And if that's what we're solving, we're gonna get x equal negative one or x is equal to two, or x is equal to eight. That's how we solve f of x. That's part three. That give you three marks to do nothing. What am so nice? And that takes care of question one. Nice and easy.